So foods to eat, you want to eat more high quality meats and proteins. That's a thing. Like I find that vegan diets kind of like one of the worst diets for concussion recovery. No offense to vegans out there. This is not a political statement or, but I'm just saying when you look at the science of it, when the brain is injured, it needs high quality nutrient dense foods. And one of the best sources are animal proteins and fats. So things like avocado, coconut oil could be really good, extra virgin organic cold pressed olive oils. And in addition to that, eating from the rainbow. So different, what we call polyphenols, things like blueberries or arugula, or things like uh, drinking green tea. You have the Abigail catechin gallate, the EGCG, you from broccoli sprouts, Broccoli sprouts have massive amounts of what's known as sulforaphane that has been shown to help not only heal the blood-brain barrier, but also to be protective of the blood-brain barrier. Now, the foods to avoid, you want to avoid highly processed foods, obviously trans fats, cut down on your seed oils, and you also want to avoid high levels of sugar. Now, when it comes to filling in nutrient gaps in your concussion recovery phase, there's five that I recommend. Number one, specialized pro resolving mediator. Love it. <laughs> Creatine, monohydrates, really important yep. too, to give your brain the extra boost of energy. Number three, I talked about it before in terms of the food, but polyphenols. And the fourth one is to help protect the blood brain barrier through that further damage to break that vicious cycle. So I like to use either alpha lipoic acid for that or and or glutathione and then finally number five is activated b vitamins a couple of things that i would add would be omega-3 fatty acids they've shown 30 days after a concussion to decrease damage by 75 percent and they're yeah. quite preventative the number one athlete that gets a concussion is a high school female soccer player so yeah. get them on omega-3 fatty acids there magnesium l3 you, you could throw in there synaptic density improvement Absolutely. Nine to 14 years, decrease aging of the brain, even post-concussion. And lastly, I want to add, I found very effective treatment is non-thermal low-level laser, not the red light therapy, but mm -hmm. the photochemical response type of lasers. Yeah, low-level lasers, like, boom, it's up there. It's super gentle, super effective. That's one of the biggest tools that I use for my patients that fly in to see me. So, yeah, 100%, we are on the same page.